Hi there! In this tutorial, we'll be removing backgrounds from images. We have this chapstick, which is on a purple backdrop. I'd rather see it on a pure white background, so I'm going to isolate the product. To do so, I'm first going to use the Path tool to select the object here. When you select using the Path tool, you want to make sure that you're zoomed in about 200% of the original photo. And I'm just going to start tracing the object making sure to keep just in line of the product so that I'm capturing all the detail. If you haven't used the pen tool before, uh, it might take a bit of practice. It's a lot easier if you have a Wacom tablet or a stylus that's directly connected to your computer rather than using your mouse. Select, OK. I'm going to go to Select, Select and Mask. This brings up a dialog box where I can control how fine-tuned and how soft that selection is. You can see there are several ways to control your selection. Feathering, smoothness, and radius will all expand and soften the edges of my selection, whereas if they were at zero, the selection would look a little harsh. In this case, I usually set each to one or two, then I want to make sure that I'm clicking Output to New Layer with Layer Mask so that it's creating a new layer to work from. And then I'm going to hit OK once that's all set. Great! So now you can see that our object is isolated on a transparent background. And now we're going to create a new layer and call that New Background. That's going to be the white backdrop that we're going to replace the purple with. You want to drag that layer below the object. Use the color picker tool to select white. And then the paint bucket tool to click the background and fill it in. And there you have it. That's how you remove a product from its background. Thanks for watching.